हेलो एवरी वन सो टूडे आई वॉज थिंकिंग ऑफ चेंजिंग माई जीरा साइट्स यू आर एल सो बेसिकली आई हैव फ्यू नॉट नॉट रियली अलॉट बट कपल ऑफ जीरा एंड कॉन्फ्लेंस इंस्टेंसेस विच ऑफकोर्स आई यूज एंड दे आर ऑल फ्री एंड आई थॉट एल प्रॉब्ली चेंज द यू आर एल ऑफ वन ऑफ दोज इंस्टेंसेस and uh, it was not possible till i guess a uh, couple of months back now it is possible you can change the url and uh, there is a page on the atlassian support portal so if you look at this page it says here updating urls is available for sites that have at least one jira or conference product with standard premium or enterprise plan you are unable to update the url if the site has only jira free and uh, confluence free so basically you can update the url but you need to be on the page plan but i thought maybe i'll take a look and uh, i'll probably figure out if i can do it or not because uh, i was playing with this and uh, for doing this you have to basically go to your uh, admin.atlassian.com portal whatever you want to call it and then uh, if you click on the products you can then find an option to change the url so let us let us see how it looks like so right now i am uh, within my admin.atlassian.com portal and uh, let me open one of my site and if you look here i mean of course these are the sites that i have but or i mean these are the products that i have but if i go to the products tab on top on the left hand side there is an option called uh, product url now I do have an option here called update URL although I I am not really using uh, the paid plan and before I attempt to do it before I attempt to change the URL it might work it might not work because I have never really done it at least uh, because I mean at least on the free plan because I have a free plan but uh, I was looking at uh, the um the warning because because if you click on this update URL there is a message here that please review and evaluate your app so basically this product url renaming feature can have an impact on the apps and uh, there are some uh, apps that might not work or stop working so you need to basically take a look at uh, one more page so there is a link here if you go to this particular uh, page on jira.atlassian.com/browse/cloud-10809 you can find the list of all those apps now there are a couple of apps that i'm really interested about <laughs> i mean script runner of course because i want to know if if i'm using script now because you know most of these apps or some of these apps not most of them but some of these apps now have a free version as well if you have a jira user 1 to 10 up to 10 users so script runner is listed here also let me take a look at ezbi so yes and of course you now if you look at this particular page there are so many apps that i believe uh, uh are compatible i guess so it says here that you know documented below is the list of atlassian marketplace add-on vendors who have confirmed that their add-ons are compatible with the cloud site rename feature so just just take a look at this information if you are thinking of doing it now because we want to play with this so i'll i'll probably attempt i i do have with this uh, in this url which i want to change So let us see. Let us see if I can. So if I click on uh, this and try, I mean, it says you can change the site's URL three more times. Okay, continue, and uh, this looks like it will work. Okay, let me click on the update, and I guess it is working. And uh, it may take up to five minutes to. It it may take up to five minutes for the URL changes to work. So I guess I was able to do it. on the free plan and uh, it is nice because you know i can change it so let me just take a look at it so of course you know right now we don't really have a lot happening here but uh, it is good to know that you can so i thought i'll, I'll probably share this i mean i do have something on the in the confluence uh, i guess so there is a demo i I remember creating couple of pages here, so it. I mean, it looks good to me so far because I can see on top. It's 
showing me the uh, new URL. And uh, let me also go to the project test. And uh, it seems like it's working. So if I click on the update one more time, so it says here that you can now change it two more times. So I think this is a nice feature. And uh, I wanted to, of course, show it to you so that you, if you are thinking of doing something similar, then go ahead, try and do it. But of course, you know, make sure that uh, your uh, apps are compatible. And maybe talk to your vendor. You never really know, things can break. But if you are using uh, an app, some critical apps, that I guess it is probably better if you just send a message to those app vendors. In my opinion, I think those app vendors should probably I mean, I'm looking at the list here. So these app vendors should um, probably um, mention it or uh, probably confirm it uh, also on their website or on their doc, like maybe in their documentation. I'm sure they are doing it, but maybe a message for these app vendors. And of course, a message for me because I'm also developing a few cloud apps using Forge and uh, I'll, I'll keep this in mind that if the URL changes, then the app should continue to work. And that is all. That is all I wanted to talk about in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today. Thank you very much. Bye bye.